Good evening. Brett and Cindy, TN Living, with another planting session. Let's plant some more. We've got tomatoes this time. All tomatoes. Um, tomatoes. We've got Jet Setter, Jet Star, and I'm going to butcher it, I know. Rutger. Rutgers tomatoes. Jet Setter and Jet Star, we got about 40. Rutgers, we cut back to about 10. Um, got to order more jet setters. No, we got to order more seeds. Um, but, uh, what we did, um, we've been asked what, what we've done, and so we just thought we'd share. To start off with, Brett brings in this tray. It's a 50 count tray. And he puts it in one of these other little trays that don't let the water leak all no, over the counter. This, this is called the insert, and that's oh. called the tray. But technical terms, if you go to order them. We have a 50 count insert and a tray. I don't know technicalities. And when you order it, you got to know it or you won't ever find it. Oh, that's the technicalities. Um, then I got the bucket of dirt, which we had some some dirt left over from last year. and But he had to buy some more, so he's mixed it all together. And I filled the tray with dirt and made sure I had... Pretty level dirt all the way across. We don't pack it now. We just put the dirt in the hole. Yeah, I just sprinkle it across. Actually, I just kind of made me a little pile and just raked it back and forth like a bulldozer with my hand, and smoothed it all in, sprinkled it all in, out, made sure every compartment had dirt, leveled it off, and then I have a little stick that measures half inch, inch, stuff like that, uh, because all of these said to bury them sixteenth to a quarter inch. Yeah. Basically, I just took the little stick and went poke, 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 and barely even a, touched it. Made basically an indention. I basically made a little indention, yes. And that, just something that I know the seed fell down into. Then I took tweezers, because <laughs> my fingers don't pick up these small seeds. And I dropped a single seed in each compartment. And then I go back to the dirt bucket, and I got a pinch of dirt, and dropped on each one. And then I just kind of lightly tapped it a little bit where it was level and didn't have a hump on it and you don't have to pack it because when you water yeah. it it'll, it'll eventually pack itself down yeah i let i let the water and do the packing i just kind of tapped it a little bit just to kind of take the heel out of it so the water would actually go and in the uh, tray that gives the seed a chance to grow because it's really loose and don't hold won't really hold the seat back from yeah. seed back from coming up and we have these They'll grow in these for a few weeks, and then when they look like their roots, what do you call that, root bound? When they start getting root bound. When they start getting root bound, we'll transfer them up to a bigger compartment. I call them the six packs. It's a and 36 count. It's a 36 count tray. What about the deep trays? But and uh, then when, if they get root bound there, we'll take them up to a three individual, to a three or four inch pot, pot nice. basically. And before they end up in the garden. So it'll be a little while before they end up in our garden. Um, we've been asked, isn't it early to be planting some of this? Um, normally I would be asking the same question, but Brent has taught me a lot this year. And it's about knowing your environment, knowing your dirt, and knowing your weather patterns. I don't know if we can ever keep up with weather anymore, but... Oh, we get close. We've had over 20 years of experience in this little garden spot. Well, in this yard, anyway. I've moved the garden spot from where it previously was about 10 or 15 years ago. But we've learned a whole lot, and we learned we can start things really early. And it is early for some people, but we've had enough experience that we know how to handle it, how to take care of things. We'll have to cover some stuff. We'll have to fight the frost maybe once or twice, but... For the most part, we get a really early start because our garden's small and we replant it at least one time, if not twice, before the season's over with. Yep. Last year we got started the end of the second week, third week of April, and it went to Halloween mm -hmm. before we got another frost. So we was able to plant some places up three times. Yep. <clears throat> that helps. No more property than we own to have the ability to plant multiple times yep. and different things. And even though we have these 40 plants, 50. well, 40 Jet Star and Jet Setters, and well, 50, sorry, 
and they're ten ruggers. Um, this won't be all the tomatoes we plant. We already have some Abe Lincolns coming up in there. But we'll come back again with another tray of these and plant a little bit later. We need some for the fall. Yeah. We stagger them out. We don't put all of the tomatoes out at one time. We put them out a few, had some, this so many out, and then we put out some more. And then, so we plant. In succession. Yeah. It's kind of like while these, these are finished producing and done, then these are really getting started. So that's one of the reasons we, we start so early. And what is that saying we have? Start early and stay late. We start early and stay late. So that's what we do. You got any questions, just ask us. We don't care to share. It's like I said, this might not work for everybody. That's what we find that works here at Brett and Cindy's Ten Living. Have a great evening and happy planning. Happy planting.